Hi there, and welcome back. In the last video, we showed how you can place assets into your scene, and the challenge that you were given was to add a ground at the top and some enemies. If you did that, great job. And we'll start by adding that into our scene. So let's add a ground at the top, stretch it. Let's add some enemies, some enemies at the top. And now we have a border at the top and the border at the bottom and some obstacles that we need to avoid. Now when working on any projects, you need to make sure that you save often and Buildbox sometimes crashes and to not lose any of your progress, make sure you save often. You do need internet connection to save. And if that's a problem to anyone, make sure you mention that in the comments and we will maybe think of moving to another game engine if that's a problem to a lot of you guys. Now in this video, we'll show you how you can change colors of your assets. And we can do that by going into our asset panel at the left, selecting the player. And when we select the player in our option panel on the right, we have the animation section. And in that section, we have our animation, which is the circle. And at the bottom, we have the color option. And currently the color that we have is white. If we click on this white color, we get our color selector. And you can use this color selector to pick any color that you want. So for a player, let's pick a bluish color and click OK. And now you can see that the color changed in our student editor view. But in our asset panel, the color haven't changed yet. And it's because it didn't refresh. But you can force the refresh by selecting some other asset and going back. And that refreshes that asset. And now you can see that the color changed in our asset panel too. And that's pretty much all there is to changing the color of our asset. The challenge for you to complete before the next video is change the color of the ground asset to whatever color you want and change the color of the enemy also to whatever color you want. Once you do that, you can continue to the next video. And in the next video, we're going to be adding movement to our player.